Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Boy Adams Link Media. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another crazy video. Please try as much as possible to like this video, comment, share it on all social platforms, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adams Link Media. And don't forget to subscribe, then click that bell notification to get updates anytime I upload. So guys, uh, NSAS protest has resumed and it's currently going on in Lagos, yeah, Abuja and some other states in Nigeria. And meanwhile, the president has said that he's going to deal with anybody who tried to start this NSAS again. This is what he said. He said, fresh NSAS protest, we will highly deal decisively with any hooligans hiding behind peaceful protest. Mr. President, Mr. President Major General Mohammed Buhari on Monday said this regime will deal decisively with any heart of oliganism hiding behind peaceful protests. He said, although his regime be believe in the right of citizens to embark on peaceful protests, such must be done responsibly. He said that why, okay, don't want to tell much. That was said, but uh, one thing is that those guys at Lekki Tollgate on the 2010, 2020, they were no hooligans. They were, they were not hoodlums. They were just peaceful Nigeria trying to protest. So we really need to know who the president is referring as hooligans so that we will know how to protect ourselves because it seems like the soldiers or the police or any uh, Nigeria force does not recognize peaceful protesters from hoodlums. In fact, during this answer protest, we see how police were protecting those hoodlums sent to disrupt the answers protest. We all saw it, guys. It's not something new. It's not something like I'm going to say, be like, wow, it doesn't really, did that really happen? No. We already knew that the during that Hester's answers protest, all those hoodlums were protected by some Nigeria police. So, you guys, I don't know. The protest is on now. It's going on currently, guys. It's going on currently in Lagos, in Abuja, and some other state. I think Imo state is going on. NSAS is resuming. But like I've said before, we really need to know how we are protesting. Like we need to make sure it's peaceful. No, our government won't want it to be peaceful. Someone will try to bring some destruction into it. But I think God will surely sustain us. And meanwhile, I want to ask this question. Is using sex toys good or not? Is using sex toys both for male and female? Is it good or not? One Nigeria pastor said the use of sex toys reminds God of Sumo and Gomorrah. When they said uh, this is coming from Reverend Tanjil Motok, the resident pastor of Shepherd House Assembly International in Just Plateau State, has condemned the use of sex toys for sexual stimulation, saying the pleasuring object reminds God of so so uh, Sodom Gomorrah. He said the heart was a scene of law lawlessness and desegregation of morality in the society and warn Christians to stop practicing in it. So the thing is that do you support the use of sex twice or not? You know, the only way I'm not going to support it is because of our women. Like, it's making them to be self-sufficient. Like, you know, God didn't create man or woman to be self-sufficient. They need each other to prosper, to like, you no know, rely on each other. But when it comes about the sexual wants and needs, it becoming like, it's making more women being like, to be more sufficient with us, with themselves. Like, you see a woman will be like, ah, I don't really need him. If I'm only, or if I need this, I will just go and buy some sex or those toys. You know, I am fully, I, I am like, I am fully against using all those sex stimulation that's just my take but you can actually leave your comment though and tell me exactly how you feel about it and uh, of course guys meanwhile guys for those of you who know me personally and uh, social media you know i've always preached against any form of abuse whether it's coming from the man's side or the woman's side 
like abuse is abuse i don't like it when people abuse on, on or other people like no abuse most especially when that abuse is coming from a man and uh, he's melting that abuse on his wife or his girlfriend recently a medical doctor a woman who is married to one pious a staff of channels tv allegedly called out her husband publicly for mercilessly abusing her four weeks after she welcomed their fourth baby four weeks after this woman welcomed their fourth baby this woman started melting some form of abuse on her firstly i'm gonna like allow us to watch how i was narrating the whole thing then i will talk my the way i see it hello people my name is Ifeyuma. i'm a doctor um, I've been married to this man, Pius Ambo of Channels Television, for six years. And for six years, I've known no peace in this marriage. It's been from one woman to another. Man, I love popcorn. from one woman. Just had a baby. It was a cesarean section just about um, three, four weeks ago. Just because I told him... Um, to spend wisely and not spend on women so recklessly considering that we have four children and these children have to be trained that's why i got this beating tried to strangle me and all that sat on my incision and everything the children were crying and i was pregnant with this child when the pregnancy was three months, it was the same thing. He would sit on my stomach, hit me, try to strangle me, and all that. So, guys, uh, that is it. Honestly, like, uh, I don't support abuse in any way, any form, and at all because I experienced it. I know what it feels like when I was small. Like, I shouldn't be talking about that here, though. But the fact is why the women endure abuse relationship. Why do women see think that that band will change? This man, this woman has been, uh, and according to her, she says she has been in that marriage for six years and continuously that man has been abusing her. And even when she was pregnant, three months, this man sat on her stomach and almost strangled her. And yes, she stayed. The reason why this man decided to melt this recent beating on her it was because she told that man to spend wisely, not to spend recklessly on women. And that was the reason why this man be like, okay, let me deal with this woman again. Well, this man just lost his job. For a woman to come outside to speak against abuse, know that that woman doesn't give a heesh about you anymore. And seriously, I don't like abusing anyway like at all irritates me to see a man beating a woman irritates me a lot because of what i've seen when i was a kid so i wouldn't want to like grow up and do that to any woman so i don't i don't know why some men feel the need to eat a woman even if the woman cheat on you, the highest you should do is simply just drive that woman away. Simple. You don't have to abuse her. Even if she, I don't care. You as a man should be able to immediately remove yourself from that situation. You do not lay your hand on a woman. And I pray this guy just lost his job. Definitely. Channel TV has responded to it and they say they don't, they don't, according to them, they said, Channel TV does not condone violence against women or anyone in general. The domestic, the domestic violence matter reported against one of our reporters is being investigated and appropriate action will be taken. And we already know the appropriate action that will, will be taken against this man. Of course, that is simply lost his job. So this man just ruined his, himself. Sorry, guy just ruin himself you don't have to eat a woman there's no excuse for children are you still beating your wife come on man come on man and meanwhile talking about wife will be frankly is advising guys not to have kids with multiple women 
you know who Oh, be frankly, we already know he has uh, like let me say four kids with different women, and uh, he's the one coming out. And I said, My children are the best gift I have received in my 24 years on health. You can abuse me and call me all sorts of names because I had them for four beautiful and brilliant women. I may not have the best relationship with some of them. Marriage crashed with one. This doesn't make me a bad person. Many have had abortion, had several boyfriends or girlfriends you don't know about. You know about mine because I am a public figure. This might be my own battle. What battles are you fighting or struggling with in private? Just always pray to God. I would have since taken my life if I, if I don't have these children. Then he continued, said, abuse me oh, if you like. But if you are a young man reading this, please and please do not have keys from different women. The stress and managing different women emotion is draining. Splitting your monthly income for by four and managing other businesses challenge is not easy. I believe one or two pencil will take this and become more careful. Anyone who tells you it's a swag, big one is him, to have keys with different women is lying on. If I can afford it financially, the emotional stress will kill you if you are not strong. The holy sweet part is the kids. They always make you feel special. Please, please don't do it all. So he's giving advice to every young man there that please do not go out there to have kids with multiple women. Because if you can take care of them financially, but what about the emotional part of it? You know, like I've said, it's not only money, 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 money all the time. Money does not really take care of kids. No, it's, it's way more than money. Money is the least of it. Trust me, money is the least of it. So money does not really take care of kids. So I think it's a really good advice which I would take. So if you like, you take it. If you don't like, don't take it. And meanwhile, a politician was bragging in Imbo State today, no, yesterday, and this is what Yasu said. He said, the only thing that the masses understand is money. That he will go out there and give people money to vote for him. And they're going to vote for him. Saturday night, I will come with my results of this Alambano to your house. And when anything like, and let me tell you, we believe in finishing the job. Yes. We'll go into the grassroots give them what the, the language they understand what they understand is money go back here we'll give them go back here To hear him, he said he's gonna give those vote uh, the voters money and they're gonna vote for them. I ain't saying the truth anyway. It's not as if he's lying. It's painful, but that's just the truth. Those guys just yesterday here, you can see our fathers, our brothers, old old men queuing, receiving money to vote. So it's not it's not story. There, there are some people who will do anything, who will do anything just to get a meal. So they don't care, share their votes, all those kind of things. So they don't really, really care about that. Well, it's quite unfortunate, but that's exactly what we are seeing in this country. Like I've said about abuse, it comes in, it, it comes in both ways. It's not only from only guys alone. Yes, a lady, because her boyfriend broke up with her, this girl decided to break all the things in this guy's house. I have been in that situation before. So let's watch it. Can you see what a, what what a lady is doing in my house? She came to mess my house up. Can you see it live? I've said before, the abuse comes in both ways. It's not only from guys. This lady, you guys didn't know they do it again. And the next thing this lady is doing is like breaking stuff, destroying stuff, all those kind of things. 
Well, let us say that guy put lay hands on this lady now that we're gonna say it's a big boy. Like I've said, I don't condole abuses in any way at all. So I don't support her doing that. So guys, right now it's a boy again. Yeah, I'm slaying. Don't forget to like this video, comment, share it on all streaming platforms, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I'm slaying media. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell notification to get updated anytime I upload. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.